So I'm sure most of us have, at one point in our lives, procrastinated or waited till the last minute to do something. Um, and a student said, never do today what you can put off till next week. And I found it kind of ironic that a student actually said this because it's very true. Um, I do agree with the statement. I'm going to show through a few examples of like life experiences, school, and with some friendships. Um, so my first example will be um, through some daily activities. I'm sure most of us have chores or things that we have to do at home um, and are asked by our parents to do them. I myself have weekly chores that I have to do and if I don't do them in the morning and I come, or my parents come home and they're not done, they ask me what I've done all day and I said, well, I've taken my sweet time to get them all done. Um, so, and sometimes for us when we're younger too, we get asked maybe once, twice, three times and our parents get angry that they had to ask us three times to just go clean our room or clean our bathroom or just help around the house. Um, another example would be with life experience, or sorry, with school. Um, for example, we have a test on Wednesday. I'm sure most of us, or half of us at least, haven't started studying. Um, I probably am one of them to be honest. <laughs> um, I was gonna make flashcards this weekend, but I'm waiting till today, but that'll be my test today. But I know most people probably haven't, or do that a lot for whether they're doing a presentation or another project that they do with a group. Um, and so it makes it, it makes it harder on ourselves when we leave things to the last minute, but that's just kind of how we work. Some of us, like me, I kind of work better under pressure sometimes. So if I'm doing an essay or something, I wait till maybe a few days before because that's when my ideas really start flowing because then I feel the pressure on to have to get it done. Um, but another example too would be with friendships. Um, I am one of those people that me and my friends, whenever we hang out, it's like the first time. Like It's never too... It's never weird, it's never bad, but we always take the longest time just to hang out one time. Like we'll say, oh, let's hang out this day, and it never happens. <laughs> so whether something came up, or just kind of life gets in the way, or we got lazy and we didn't want it, like neither of us responded and we were expecting the other to do it, kind of lack of communication as well can cause that. Um, but I definitely do agree with this statement that says, never do today what you can put off till next week because it's just kind of true about overall in life. All right, the shared reference at the beginning and the transition to the topic was really fine. Uh, we know what your point of view is. There's a good, uh, actually an excellent preview of what you're going to be talking about, the supporting points that you're going to have. When you get into those points, you give us just enough detail to make it a little interesting. Um, there's always more that you could say, but I thought that you, you created a reasonable uh, presentation for the ideas that you had here, and they did re relate to the supporting points that you'd set up in the preview, so that was fine. Um, uh, like I said, an additional story or two would always be helpful and make it a little more interesting, but they all fit with what you were talking about, and they were a little bit deeper than just mentioning the idea and keeping it at a hypothetical level. Well, there was that one time when you were talking about making plans and nobody, you know, I'm going, what are you talking about? You know, you're going to remember one of those examples in just a few minutes, and you're going to say, "Well, I should have said that." Uh, so that's kind of what you're going to need to do. Uh, you do take a while to kind of relax with your hands. You, you kind of holding your hands, arms crossed at the beginning. Um, you relax a little bit more as you go along, but then you get the piece of paper in your hands and. That becomes kind of a thing, a crutch that you're holding. So your gestures are something that maybe you need to work on a little bit. But your facial expressions and eye contact are very good. Sometimes the smiling looks a little nervous instead of being about what you're amused about, what you're talking about. It's 
maybe a little bit of anxiousness coming out, and I'll just smile to kind of get through that, which is not a bad thing, but you do want to try and make sure that you do it uh, judiciously so that uh, it doesn't seem too obvious. But I thought you did a very good job looking at us while you were talking to us and trying to keep us engaged. All right. Merci.